7 September 2017, Thursday, this two month old female rabbit was sold by a pet shop. And you can see the eye is cloudy on one side, and let's see the other side. The left, the right eye is normal, you can see it, wait, uh, hold properly. Normal. So, we will use the frozen eye stain test to test for ulcers. We will do both eyes. And uh, if there's an ulcer, the cornea will stain green. If there's no ulcer, then uh, there should be no green stain after one minute. But best is to do both eyes. Turn a bit more to, for me to video. Okay. One drop will do. Okay, so wait a while first. Sometimes it takes longer. Although, although uh, one minute should do uh, so one drop first. This is called a fluorescent stain test. Fluorescent stain test. Now, we will show. Whether that's our source or not, close the eyes first, close the eyelids first. The way a while first, yeah. sometimes it takes longer, sometimes it's very fast because our source is very obvious. Now let's see, yeah, there's a. There's a green, yeah. This happens about one week ago. Now see the other eye? Compared to the other eye, you see? Now this one, you can see there's no green in the cornea. We, we put it. Now this two months rabbit is for sale actually at a pet shop. But because of the eye, of the eye, the whiteness in the cornea, so the rabbit owner is not selling it. So I'm checking it, let's see. Uh, okay, so patiently check first. Now you see a, a normal cornea ulcer. A normal normal cornea will not have the green stain. Cornea is the is a transparent part of the eye, which you can see on the right eye it's clear. Okay, let's see the other eye again. You see the other eye. It's obvious there's an ulcer. Answer the phone. Now. You see the ulcer, and uh, this is quite a big area. Mm, so that's the usefulness of the frozen eye stain test to check for cornea ulcer.